you have a device. So your device want to get connected. First you need a connection. Physical connectivity is required, right? So to create a physical connectivity, so your device need an IC network interface card. Okay, to connect a device to another device, right? To form a network. So first one is we need a connectivity. So the connectivity first one from your device, you need an IC. To between the devices, so if you are want to use a cable type of connectivity, then we need a different type of cables. Nowadays, we are not only cables, without cable means wireless a type of connectivity we are doing. Of course, this is cables. Generally, uh, we are using cables also, right? Of course, still we are using cables. Networking devices, different type of networking devices are required, which we are already discussed, hub switches, routers, modem kind of stuff. This is for connectivity purpose. To communicate in the network, we need a protocols and the logical addressing. To communicate someone, I want to communicate to a person, so I need a uh, to communicate with that my person. I need a their name, right? I want to communicate someone like I want to call Aman. Okay, so Aman need a name. I should have a name, right? That is identification names just for address to communicate someone you need to give addressing like you want to send a letter to address from address okay like that. But again i will see how much distance why it is taking so much distance is NIC network interface card. Generally when people hear the NIC word think uh, it is a LAN card or maybe Ethernet card uh, these kind of stuff it is like a wide type of card. Okay, it is a kind of wide type of. So wireless connectivity do not have any any NICs. Now guys, even we are connect with the wide or wireless. Okay, we are connecting with the wide or wireless. We need a NIC. This is uh, irritating me again. Every device need an IC to get connected in network. In network, okay. Every device need an IC to get connected in network. First one, okay. Connectivity can be wide type or wireless type. It can be wide connectivity or wireless connectivity. So compulsory NIC is required. NIC can be built in. device or adapter to the device okay that's i will tell okay one minute here i am showing guys this is one type of uh, uh, connectivity so first of all i am typing about a wide connectivity about wide how wide connectivity is there and what is the devices we use in the wide connectivity?
So these are the devices. Of course, we use hub bar as such. A barrel search it is. I'm using a barrel search. So device can be anything. Say a, a device or B device or a C device it is. So we need a NIC. So point is that is not the point. It is this is the point. Maybe we'll try like this and put a bigger. Okay, now this is an IC. These devices having so I'm connecting to the NIC. So this is connecting to NIC. Wide type of connectivity. So this is an NIC. This is an NIC. Okay, it is an NIC standard. This is a wide type of connection. Wide type of connection. Wireless type of connectivity. Now I have a devices. You have wireless devices at work. TVs. It can be a mobile phone. Can be a laptop. Maybe it is a, a smart TV kind of devices, anything. So any any device it is. So wireless type of connect. But they are also having a, a built-in NIC. Internally, they have their own Sir, sometime your voice is not audible. Okay. Can you able to hear now? Yes, sir. Sometimes this is also auto muted. <laughs> so keep reminding like that. That is the thing. Stop TV. I will put a, a desktop. Also, we can able to connect. So, but why it is this thing is irritating me? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So this is my 
wireless access point or Wi-Fi router. Okay, so I'm using a, a simple way how we are connecting with the Wi-Fi router part only I'm writing. So Wi-Fi router, so either you connect with wires, that option is also there and wireless connectivity is also there, right? I'm trying to draw these lines. Okay. I put externally like this, just uh, uh, for our, our understanding of external kind of communication. Connectivity is something like this, this, or this. Uh, it's now arrow mark, now that thing is there. Just to not thinking like this, this is a wireless connectivity. Just to show that this is wireless. It is a wired or wireless. You should have a NIC network interface card. Depends upon your type of communication, NIC changes. So if it is a fiber optical type, means fiber optical type of NIC, we should use it. Okay. So our uh, local, uh, what are the NIC type we are using? So that uh, Ethernet type is won't work there. So NIC is a common word. This is wide type of connectivity. This is a wireless type of connectivity. Okay. This is, is a one type of NIC, which is also called as Ethernet. Okay, which is also called as Ethernet. This model is Gigabit Ethernet. This model is Gigabit Ethernet. Okay, so this is a wide type of connectivity, guys. I will show clearly here. So here, Ethernet port or a LAN port, we are connecting this side. And here it is, it is going to your motherboard. I will show you that one. Um, Ethernet port to uh, motherboard, how it will convert, how, how, how it will connect. Like 
So the card will insert into motherboard PCS slots. Okay, this is the card. They will insert the card like this. Okay, now on motherboard we are getting directly this uh, on motherboard cards. We got it. So on motherboard it is. You no need to insert like this. On motherboard directly we are getting our NIC cards. So no need to separately insert in it. Next one is for laptops. Also, we are getting for laptops. Can you see this is our Ethernet port? This is our Ethernet port on the laptops. You know, laptop also. Currently, I am connected with both wired and wireless type of connectivity. Okay. But this is the our laptop. So this is our port, RJ45 port, which we are able to connect a laptop with a port. For fiber optical, also we have a fiber optical NICs also there. Okay. is called a HVA post bus adapters. OK, post bus adapters both will look like this one. OK, so this is the fiber optical type of connectivity. Fiber optical type of connectivity it is dual channel, single channel, different type of connectivities. Not this one. This is a some additional converter type. So fiber optical cables. Okay, this is the way it is inserting into this. This is how they will insert it. And of course, there are so many things, uh, converters, USB type of converters also there. Okay guys, this is the way we connect uh, our cable to connect our device to network. So it is a wired devices in generally wired devices means we will get a Mm. So we need a, a physical NIC, NIC port is there, cable connectivity is there. What about a wireless? What about a wireless kind of stuff? So Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi type of NICs. Can you see this is a one kind of Wi-Fi and I see. So it is for a desktop purpose. You have a desktop. Normally in Wi-Fi, we have a uh, in Wi-Fi, your mobile phone laptops having a built-in uh, uh, kind of stuff is there. OK, so that's why I'm keeping like this because to show for desktops, this type of analysis, you can insert it. Or you can insert a USB type. This is in the laptops generally built inside of laptop. This kind of analysis we are using. Okay, in a laptops, we use this type of analysis. Of course, if you cannot insert, if it is a laptop or a desktop, if you cannot uh, connect with these things, one more option is there. What is? 
this be type of adapters. So the NICs with a simple USB, we are also getting like this. Okay. So it's look like this one. It is opening URLs. So I just I need a only picture part. I don't need a link, just I need something like this. Much tiny one will be there. The TP link, small one. No, not this one. This is. No, no, something it is not given properly. So for Wi-Fi, you can do external connection. That's why I give in this kind of stuff. OK, so this is nice. So guys, it is a wired or wireless type of communication. It can be a normal regular LAN communication, LAN wires we are using, or maybe it is a fiber optical type of communication. We need a NIC. NIC use it to get connected to network. So then we can able to communicate in the network okay so these are the points uh, i added wide type is always uh, 802 dot 3 standard guys i believe i believe standard it is 802 dot 3 a b c d is there of course and the wireless uh, it is a uh, 802 dot 11 of course, there, there are also A, B, C, D kind of stuff. A, B, C, G, H, N. Uh, this kind of uh, things are there. You want to know about it? So simply A not to dot 11. A. What is meaning of A? You will get it. What is meaning of B? See, A means uh, 5 gigahertz. B means 2.4. G means uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Again, N means both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz 600 mbps ac means 5 gigahertz ad means for both are and also 60 gigahertz this is a ad is a higher one it is showing like this okay maximum speed maximum data transmission speed so if you want to in future nowadays you are getting a 50 mbps 100 mbps type so what is this n is required compulsory both uh, Wi-Fi router and uh, your mobile phone or laptop, the Wi-Fi standard end is required. This also it is telling some information. Okay. Frequency and as well as the data transmission speed also you have to check it. Okay. So that's the point. So this is the 802 dot standard. So if it is 803. 803 also having the standards. Okay. So it is not a Ethernet standard, it is something it is showing. Like this. This is the standards. Okay. So I'm not going much. So I will go to a very simple way. So why time is very fastly it is going up. Yeah, about NIC guys, about NIC, already network interface card, every device must connect it to, every device must have a NIC to get communicate in the network. Okay, there's a few points about uh, uh, NIC, but before that one, small information, I will tell you. This wide NIC is there, no? this is the NIC, this NIC we call it as a Ethernet. So, NIC, a network interface card. There is a LAN card, 
Ethernet card, okay, LAN card, Ethernet card, like this. These are the names are there. Same story. This is the NIC. These two comes under this point only. So this is NIC. Okay. Guys, Ethernet card. Ethernet. It will give you 10 Mbps data transmission speed. Use Ethernet type of NIC. It is 10 Mbps data transmission. Fast Ethernet. Will give 100 Mbps of data transmission. Giga bit Ethernet give you 1000 Mbps. Okay, so which model it is? Gigabit Ethernet. Gigabit Ethernet. Ethernet, okay, so gigabit Ethernet. Okay, so Ethernet is a world one that is 10 Mbps. Now we are using fast Ethernet or a gigabit Ethernet. Generally, gigabit Ethernet for our desktops we are using. Okay, the cost difference, other features, wise cost will be there. Okay, uh, not only uh, uh, speed. Um, so important is, guys, of course, you call certain thing as NIC, you can, this is the NIC. In NIC, we have a LAN card uh, or an Ethernet card. We are calling this one as a Ethernet. This is model is Ethernet type of uh, NIC it is or LAN card it is. It is having a three types: Ethernet, fast Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet. So all in days we use Ethernet, then fast Ethernet. Now it is gigabit Ethernet. Of course, fast Ethernet is also available in market. So what is the data transmission speed? There's some names like a LAN port, or Ethernet port, LAN port, or Ethernet ports are used to connect your cable. So where we connect the cable. This socket we call it as a RJ45. The standard name of that socket. Socket name is RJ45. So RJ means register jar. Register jar. Okay. Next one. Okay. Yeah, so what is the cable? What cable type it is supporting? Twisted pair cable, UTP or STP type of cables it is supporting. Yeah, that's it. Not completed. Just I'm telling about this story. That's it. Guys, understand what it is? Yeah, yes, sir. Very good. Okay. So, here, guys, every NIC, so every device should have an NIC to get connected. But every NIC, it's a wide NIC or wide license, it has a MAC address. So, before that one, we discussed earlier about a uh, MAC address kind of stuff. So every NIC has a MAC address. Every NIC has a MAC address. Okay. MAC address is also called as physical address. 
also called as physical address. Okay, MAC address is 48 bit. Uh, okay, and represent in 12 hexadecimal number. 12 hexadecimal numbers. Okay, MAC address is a 48 bit represented in 12 hexadecimal. Example how the MAC address is look like uh, something like this. Um, Well, X, right now already one more X uh, means one more uh, two more numbers I have to add it and now for this is 20 uh, uh, okay this is how it is look like it's not alpha numeric guys it's a hexadecimal number hexadecimal number 12 hexadecimal numbers are there if you convert this 12 hexadecimal into binary it is 48 bit binary bit it is we cannot, it's a physical address, right? So we cannot change MAC address. Can't change the MAC address. Okay. The MAC address assigned to NIC. Who assigned this one? By manufacturer. of that NIC, okay, I have NIC, my NIC manufacturer assigned a MAC address to it. MAC address is assigned to NIC, NIC having a MAC address. Some people confuse in the NIC IP address, MAC address, guys. MAC address is dedicated to NIC only, not to your system. IP address, IP address is assigned on NIC by manually or automatically means from DHCP server or you will have to configure manually IP address. We can change IP address, we can't change the MAC address. Okay. These are a few points, of course, uh, few uh, one or two additional points I'm telling guys. Wi-Fi kind of network in Wi-Fi networks. Mac binding. Mac binding concept is there. OK, so Mac binding possible. Mac binding possible, that is enough. OK, so I don't go to what is Wi-Fi, non-Wi-Fi kind of stuff. Mac binding is possible. Max spoofing is possible. Not change the MAC address. Okay, MAC address cannot be changeable. MAC binding is possible. MAC binding means uh, only allow this MAC addresses devices only. Then what happened? So when you are sending uh, a packet or when you are getting connected, so it will verify your MAC address. Then if it is not in the list, Deny. Okay, so that is a MAC binding kind of. You know, usually in a Wi-Fi network, it is there. So I'm not telling stories now, okay, because time's up. Now, how to check MAC address? How to check MAC address? One way is a command line. That is, the command is get MAC. Another type of command is ipconfig slash r. In GUI mode also you can get the MAC address. That is a GUI is in a GUI mode. Also we can check it. So better you can go to run or a search. Type NCPA. 
start CPL. So you will open with the network connections. So there is a right click. Don't right click, so just double click on an IC or a network adapter. Click on details. So then you will see IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and physical address also. Hmm. Okay, so this is about a, an IC and about a MAC address and the stuff. Okay. Um, so guys, I will give you a 50. Okay. I will show you how to check MAC address. So tomorrow I will tell about a IP address first. So then I will tell about IP address, how to check IP address and how to check MAC address. Both I will show you tomorrow. Okay. And uh, also, I will next continuation IP address and OSC layer. I will tell tomorrow. But now I want to show you this cable part. So because that will complete it, that will be going to complete once I complete this cable part. Use different type of cables. So I'm not giving any break for this one. So networking cables. So we use certain cable types in the network. Guys, are you able to listen carefully? Means, are you able to yes. audible? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Coaxial cable. Okay. Coaxial cable. You know, in bus topology, use coaxial cables. Okay, in general. Coaxial cables. Twisted pair cables. To TP, unshielded twisted pair cable, shielded twisted pair cable. In all other uh, type of uh, topologies, like a star topology, uh, um, you can go through this. Um, okay, if you use a star topology, maybe if you want to use uh, you are using a, a ring topology, mesh topologies. So remaining topologies also, you can use it. I am giving only star name only. Fiber optical. Because fiber optical, both bus, bus topology we use it. Bus means three type of topologies. We can use it, star type of topologies, mesh type of topologies also, we should use it. So I am removing this part uh, to divide from here to here. I put a star, but fiber optical is can be used in anywhere. Okay, so all type of topologies, but related to topology part, star topology, mesh topology, bus topology, tree topology, any, so many type of topology, all type of topology. So that's actually not a point, guys. Forget about it. So first one is coaxial cable. First one is coaxial cable. You know, it is uh, coaxial cable. There is a picture for that one like this but this is a very big one yeah, where 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 yeah here it is go axial cable okay see this thing there is a center wire center wire and it is there is an insulation Okay, there is a center wire and there is insulation and there is a copper mesh. There is a copper mesh. 
So what is the use of that one? So we'll see. Okay, like this, we can be able to connect it. Okay, so this is having a, a center wire, center copper wire is for main signal transmission purpose. It's for a main signal transmission purpose. Okay, and a copper mesh. What are the copper mesh you are looking? Copper mesh used to protect main signal from electromagnetic interference from electromagnetic interference something I type Okay. So what is EMI? Electromagnetic interference. Copper mesh is used to protect signal from electromagnetic interference. Okay, this is about a coaxial cables. Next one is twisted pair cable. Next one is twisted pair cable. Twisted pair cable. Inside a cable, there is a cables are twist each other. So UTP STP cables. Okay. So can you see this is in this cable there is a wires, totally eight wires are there. Totally eight wires are there. The pair of wires are twist each other pair of wires are twist each other. There is a totally eight wires in this cable. The pair of wires are twist each other. Totally eight wires. And pair of each other okay. so it called as four pair cable So it called as four pair. So it is called as a four pair. Number of pairs. Number of pairs. Attenuation decreases, the speed of data transmission increases. Yeah, tell me. Yes, sir, now it's clear. Okay. 
So white twist are there. The twist cancels this attenuation, which is actually the property of a transmission lines. Okay. So this number of twist increases the speed of data transmission increases by reducing attenuation. Okay. So in unshielded twisted pair cable, unshielded a twisted pair cable does not having any copper shielding. But shielded twisted pair cable having a copper shielding. Shielded twisted pair cable having a, a copper mesh on it, which is actually used to protect from electromagnetic interference. What is the problem with this EMI? EMI causes crosstalk, mix the signals. Okay, so we use a RJ to mix the signal, so then signal disturbances occurs. So we use a RJ45 connector to connect this connector. So you can see this type of RJ45 uh, connector. This is a, a cable connector connecting to the devices. Okay, it's a four pair cable, so we use eight wires. So that's already I've written. Okay, we use the RJ45 connector to connector and socket to connect the cables. And these are a color coded guys. These are having a color coding. So how it is color coded? So just I will write the color codes. You know, it's a cable. So if you see the wires, so the wires. So like a orange wire is there. Orange wire having a pair called a white orange. And uh, I have a green wire. Green have a, a wire is twisted with a white green wire. Blue wire is there. Blue wire is twisted with a uh, um, white blue. And we have a brown wire and white brown. It's wise. So we have a Four pair cable, it is eight wires. Orange wire, white orange wire, green wire, white green wire, blue wire, white blue wire, brown wire, and white brown wire. We have it. Okay. These are the different wire combinations. Uh, it is a little time taking part. Okay. <laughs> Guys, to the in this cable, so when you take a one patch cable, the cables are stripe cable or stripe through cable, stripe cable or stripe through cable, cross over type of cable is there, the cable formation, cross over cable, and roll over cable, straight through cable. Our cable, roll our cable. Okay, so these are the mainly three type of cables. What is the use of this uh, stripe cable? So stripe cable used to connect different devices. Used to connect different devices like a PC to switch, a 
anything what it is switch to router which are hub you can take both are similar type of devices crossover cable is used to connect uh, similar type of devices similar devices like pc to pc you want to connect directly one pc to another pc directly or switch up or switch PC to router rollover cable is to connect either it is switch or a router so cable port to PC uh, RS232 nothing but a series yeah tell me tell me sir similar device so sir pc to router or router to router uh, router to router is also there yeah. but uh, that's a different point router to router like a lan communication LAN communication router to router um uh, we have a two type of connectivities one is just like a with wire connectivity another one is address wireless communication okay. to connect switch or a router routers console port or a, a routers console port to PCs RS232 you are using those days and this type okay so this is your different type of cables the cable in a different forms are there different standards are there okay so there's a big diagram it is but I am not doing all these things I am telling only it is so like is, what is a stripe to cable cross or cable so how cable connectivity is there so can you see this is a cable the color code is how it is look like and it is also you can see okay these are the color coding from here to here it is this is good information But I don't want that. Straight through crossover. PC to router. I think this is somewhat better. Far better. Okay, so this is how cabling is done, but uh, you, you won't get it much, but just uh, get uh, some names for uh, our understanding. Uh, two points are there, guys. There is a, a different categories of the cables are there. So these cables, these cables are having a different type of categories. Okay, the cable, the UTP or STP categories.
what is this it's letter we'll see categories different categories are there guys cat1 cable cat2 cable so cat3 cable is there very important one is cat6 cable cat5 and cat5e cat6 cable so remaining cables are not having more important as i know what are the things as for the certain main test books i'm telling okay so cat4 cat5 is uh, um, 100 mbps data transmission speed guys cat5 is some people telling 1 gbps but i am telling it's around 500 to 600 and also there is a frequency levels will be different cat6 is one uh, gbps type of a speed you will get it cat4 yeah correct one only this is cat4 is 16 mbps so voltage days we use uh, ethernet so then so cat3 and cat4 are very useful yes, they are telling one mbps but not a maybe but cat1 is different guys cat1 connectivity is rj11 it is a two pair cable it is connectivity is rj11 it is a two pair cable it is a our older older uh, uh, telephone cables exactly say telephone type of cables it is okay not like our network type of communication it is rj11 two pair cable old telephone from here onwards it is the connector is you should use rj45 and it is four pair cable and our lan communication is a different categories of cables Guys, these are the different uh, tools we use. This is a cable tester. This is the crimping tool. These are the cables. This is the RJ45 connector. This is the cable tester. Whenever you are having a cable, like you, you create a cable like this. This is called a patch cable. This is called a, a patch cable. This is how uh, actually the cable is look like. This is our patch cable. So otherwise I will put it down. Okay. This is the patch cable. What is the use of, what is patch cable? It's simple, our LAN cable on the, so what is we call this one is, this is irritating and uh, is called a patch cable which we are connecting from your device to uh, um, other device like a pc to switch we are connecting hub or we are connecting our lan cables also called as lan cable okay so in your office someone asked me give me that patch cable don't see put a blank face guys it is called a, a patch cable okay so you, your patch, you are not getting connected properly. Some network issue is there. Maybe it is a cable problem. So how to do confirm that it's cable related problem or not? You can use this testing tool. 
to create this cable so we need this crimping tool and this connectors so this is the cable insert a cable here and do it okay so this is about here Okay. Yes, last one. So our lunch time is also up. the last one I will tell and we'll close for today. No one is uh, speaking anything. Are you getting completely confused or uh, no, no, completely understanding? Either two stages. Or not we got that? it, sir. Oh. Last one is guys that is a fiber optical cable. Fiber optical cables are made up of generally it is glass. Okay, so we don't use any copper kind of material inside. So then there is no electromagnetic interference on your cables. Okay, no electromagnetic interference on it. Okay. So we use a light wave as a signal, not an electrical signal here. We use a light wave as a signal. Where we use the fiber optical cable, where we need to communicate a longer disk communications and a very high speed data transmission places. Like a, in a core routing servers, storage uh, that while data transmitting to storage system, storage devices to uh, our server or through network that time these fiber optical cables are useful of course we are getting internet through fiber optical cables we don't use fiber optical cables in a regular LAN network because it is a comparatively very costly you know what is this this is we are getting internet through fiber optical cables and how it is connected globally this map will show you submarine cable map so this is the different countries you can see where is india this is india so from india how many connections are given to outside of the world through the ocean okay you can type like a uh, ofc cables under ocean lines so there you will find uh, so a lot of cables under washing lines. So these guys try to repair something or doing some checking. Okay. This is under washing cables structure it is. Okay. So this is a, a few points. So, so many small point I told <laughs> long distance communication, very high speed data transmissions no electromagnetic interference or attenuations. It is costly as well as a cheaper. When you do long distance communication or a very high speed data transmission, like a server rooms you are using or internet connectivity you are using, it is comparatively the cost of cable is lesser. But guys, for your LAN communication, you want to use regular LAN communication, you want to use a fiber optical cables, so you are NIC must be HBA type means fiber optical type and you have to use fiber optical switches. Nine. Is nine. One minute. Okay. Fiber optical switches. Those are uh, very costly. Maybe in future we hopefully if it is uh, comes less of the cost without uh, maybe maybe but we, meanwhile we'll get another technology to get a very high speed data transmission. We'll see that. Okay. So these are the mainly three cables, coaxial cable, okay, twisted pair cable and a fiber optical cable. Twisted pair cable is a UTP, STP, two type of cable, unshielded twisted pair cable, shielded twisted pair cable. Okay. And um, what one more we discussed just before it is NIC, network interface card, LAN card or Ethernet card. 
every NIC, every device must have an NIC to communicate in the network. There is a different type of NICs, wired type, wireless type of connectivity that are providing. This wired type of NIC, which is we are generally using in our uh, place, is a, called a, a, the LAN card. Uh, that is nothing but our Ethernet card. Ethernet, fast Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet. Three type of Ethernets are there. Okay, 10 Mbps, 100 Mbps, 1000 Mbps speeds they are getting. And there is a socket called RJ45 socket, which is also called as Ethernet port or LAN port. RJ means register jack. We use generally a UTP or STP cables to connect to this type of NICs. Of course, for wireless also different type of wireless built in or a, a connected a, a type of external connection type of NICs also available. Every NIC, it is a wide type of NIC or wireless type of NIC. It has a MAC address. MAC address is a physical address represented in full hexadecimal. The, in a binary, it is 48 bit. We cannot change the MAC address because of it is assigned to your NIC by the manufacturer of NIC. Okay, manufacturer of NIC. Like, you know, Qualcomm is one of the manufacturer, a D-Link manufacturer, TP-Link manufacturer, Zuniper manufacturers will manufacture real tech manufacturers. So they manufacture NIC, they'll put a MAC address inside. We can't change the MAC address. Okay, so these are the cables and NIC guys. Tomorrow I will start with the how to check MAC address, then we'll go to uh, IP address, MAC address, IPv4, IPv6, that kind of stuff will start tomorrow. Okay, that's uh, okay. for today. Sir, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, this um, syllabus is for uh, interview purpose or uh, 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 for a version uh, practice test also? No, no, this is technical. Technical version, both that the version is a computer based communication related. Okay. Means your communication testing. So there's no technical in version test. Okay, okay. It's okay, communication purpose. This is. Not only interview, it's not interview training, it's a technology for yeah, yeah. you should have a basic level of knowledge uh, yeah, in, right. for working, start working with the, uh, your profile. Okay, that's we are saying. And in that one also, we are uh, picking up some questions. So like I'm keep telling differences, right? This is different, that is different. Okay, so. Please uh, uh, read like that only. Read what it is and differences. Okay. Uh, yes. Thank you, guys.